something that comes up quite often when talking about going on dates is this girls don't like nice guys thing. Uh, you've heard that before. I know you have. Girls don't like nice guys. I'm just a nice dude. I, I tipped my fedora like five times and she didn't even wink at me. <laughs> it's not that girls don't like nice guys. It's that the quote unquote nice guys aren't actually nice. They're usually weaselly pieces of shit who are sucking up to the woman, telling her whatever she wants to hear in some desperate hope that maybe, just maybe, they get to see her take her pants off. Nice guys don't finish last. Sniveling weasels who are dishonest and just say whatever they think the woman wants to say, they finish last. There is something that I've been meaning to talk about, and I'm really glad that I finally get a chance to do just that. Because it's really easy to laugh at the dipshits in the red pill community and, and chuckle at how they're all a bunch of loser cucks, which is all true, by the way, but it's easy to make fun of them. It's not as easy to offer alternative advice slash solutions. What I'm about to say to a lot of people might sound like the most obvious crap ever, but I figured I might as well give some general advice for men who are lonely. Right now, we know that in America specifically, uh, there is a bit of a loneliness epidemic and men are uniquely suffering from this problem, whether it's uh, less relationships, less sexual interaction, whether it's less friendship. I thought maybe I would just kind of give a general rundown as to what could help you kind of break out of this loneliness and uh, not feel so alone. You know, you kind of got to, you, you want to put yourself out there a little bit. So also keep in mind that I'm not a, a therapist, okay? I know I might sound incredibly smart and intellectual and the most big brain motherfucker around, but no, I'm not in fact a therapist. Uh, this is just general advice. Honestly, like I don't really have like hardly any friends. I'm not going to lie. Like I basically have no friends and I'm okay with that. But I also know that if I were to follow this advice that I could get friends as well. So the first thing that's really important is you need to get your priorities straight. Way too often, whether we're talking about the red pill community or just single dudes in general, it seems like their entire world revolves around chasing women. And she's hot, if only I could get with her. Oh man, oh damn, look at that ass. A lot of the times, that's like the general mentality of single men, uh, especially men who are lonely. So stop obsessing over chasing women. You need to get your priorities straight. and. If you're a single dude who's feeling lonely, you need to prioritize you. That's what you need to be focusing on. You should get a hobby and not just get a hobby like being alone in your bedroom knitting or something. Get a hobby that puts you around other people. That's a really quick way to make friends. You don't necessarily need to make female friends. Like just having friends in general, general a general social group will help you become less lonely more confident, more comfortable, and also just raises your likelihood that you will also meet women because you're socializing. So I would suggest getting a hobby and get a hobby that puts you around other people. Uh, I've heard recommendations before like um, do a, a community college class for something that you're interested in. That way you're put in an environment right away where you're surrounded by people who already have a common interest to you. That would be a, a good way to put yourself out there and potentially make friends. Get your priorities straight, prioritize yourself and your own well-being, and you can start by just getting a hobby. The next thing you need to do is be the best version of yourself and recognize your bad qualities and try to get rid of them, depending on what those qualities are, of course. We've all heard the, oh, just be yourself bullshit. That is not true because I hate to break it to you, but sometimes uh, being yourself is not good enough. Sometimes yourself sucks and it's okay because you can change yourself. So don't just be yourself, uwu. Be the best version of yourself and get rid of your bad qualities if you are able to do so. If you recognize that you have a tendency to complain a lot, this is something that I have had a problem with in the past. Recognize that and stop doing that. That makes you less enjoyable to be around. Nobody wants to be around somebody who's complaining and whining all day. Identify other bad qualities uh, of yourself and do your best to eliminate them. If you recognize a bad quality, and it's something in regards to maybe depression or anxiety or a mental health issue, then the answer there is obviously not to just like ignore it. You need to seek help, get therapy, 
Talk to your doctor about medication. Do your best to go outside more often. There's other shit you can do to try and better your own mental well-being. And it's not always as cut and dry as like, just stop doing that, bro. I know that's what a lot of the red pill people, maybe Sneeko thinks it's that easy, but for most of us who have two brain cells, uh, we recognize that telling someone with depression, just stop, isn't really very helpful. But if you're able to have enough introspection that you can recognize your bad qualities, you're already on the right path because now you're acknowledging flaws that you have and acknowledging them obviously is the first step to improving them. So no, don't just be yourself, be the best version of yourself. And with that will come a degree of confidence. That is also incredibly important. While you're prioritizing yourself and your own well-being, focus on confidence. People in general like to be around confident people, not just women. People in general, they like confidence. You know, I personally, I know I'm speaking on personal experiences, so take this with a grain of sand, but I used to be not a very confident guy. Truly, I was not very confident. Uh, I was a little bit awkward, not, not like dehabilitating wise, but I definitely wasn't nearly as confident uh, as some other people my age. I would look up bullshit online, basically. Like, how do you get more confident? And one of the things I read was just fake it till you make it. And you know what? That worked. Because lack of confidence, unless it's stemming from like a legitimate mental illness, is something that you can just stop. That is something that you can just stop doing. And so that's what I did. I just started to pretend that I was more confident. I started being more relaxed. Inside, I'm thinking, holy shit, I'm so fucking nervous right now. This feels awkward. What am I going to do? Outside, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Fake it till you make it. When it comes to something like confidence, that is actually something that can work. Keep in mind, however, the fake it till you make it mentality only applies in very strict and specific contexts. Something like, I have depression. You cannot solve that by faking it until you make it, obviously, just to be clear. So that's the first step to try to break out of loneliness. Improve yourself. Don't obsess over women. Get a hobby that puts you around other people and then get confidence. Ideally, if you are able to do the first few steps, with that will follow a degree of confidence. Be the best version of yourself, get rid of your bad qualities, and confidence will follow. So that's the first step. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make male friends. I know you're probably thinking, well, hold on, I wanna go talk to the hoes. Not yet. Make some male friends. Have some buddies to hang out with, to call up. It's my understanding that men do really well in groups, but even more so, men do really well with face-to-face -face interaction. Women are able to talk on the phone with a friend, and they feel more connected to that individual just through communication than guys might. Guys tend to do better in face-to-face -face interaction. So maybe the hobby that you've picked up has put you around other guys, and they're chill, they're cool, and you guys become friends. You want to focus on just making friends in general. Start socializing, getting out, get out of your bubble, stop staying in mom's basement, go out with the bros, okay? But something else that's important is you need to recognize how you make good friends and how you make close and meaningful friends. And this is where the conversation about toxic masculinity comes in. A lot of the times there are expectations placed on men as to how they should act. One of those expectations includes you need to be strong and showing signs of weakness or being vulnerable should be uh, resisted at all costs. But that's wrong. And you know why? Because do you know how you make good friends, meaningful friendships? You have to be vulnerable. You have to be vulnerable with other people at times in order to form that strong connection and a meaningful friendship. Something with depth, not just the, the guys I play beer pong with. You have to be vulnerable to make close and good friends. And I think that a lot of people overlook that because you hear the red pill community constantly whine about how men are lonely and men don't have friends. Yeah, maybe it's because you people, you chuckle fucks, consistently tell men that showing signs of vulnerability is disgusting. It's something that should be avoided. You have to be vulnerable in order to make good friends. Now, ideally, at this point, you have gotten your priorities straight, you've improved yourself, you have a hobby that's put you out there and also put you around other people, and now you've made some other guy friends also. Friends who you can talk to when you're going through some shit, friends who you actually have a connection with because you were willing to be vulnerable 
when it was the appropriate time and place. And from there, your next step is start going on dates. Now, maybe that's easier said than done. Uh, you know, it's not, you're not going to be able to just like walk up to the, the local librarian and take her out to Red Lobster or something. Either way, meet people. Hopefully you've been in an environment now with your guy friends and uh, the hobby that's put you around other people where you're, you're meeting other people as well. Start going on dates. Literally just like wash your head out of these bad ideas about women, especially if you're like a red pill type who believes that women are just shallow and only interested in the chads and they only care if you have a thick jawline and that's all they give a shit about. Like get rid of that mentality. If you think that's how women are, that is going to inevitably dictate how you behave and interact with women. And I can tell you, it's not going to be great. Nobody wants to be around another person who is acting like they already know this person and know exactly how they are. Like, stop trying to get in people's heads. Stop trying to analyze women. Stop extrapolating your bad experiences with a couple women onto all women and go on dates with an open mind. Something that comes up quite often when talking about going on dates is this girls don't like nice guys thing. Uh, you've heard that before. I know you have. Girls don't like nice guys. I'm just a nice dude. I, I tipped my fedora like five times and she didn't even wink at me. <laughs> it's not that girls don't like nice guys. It's that the quote unquote nice guys aren't actually nice. They're usually weaselly pieces of shit who are sucking up to the woman, telling her whatever she wants to hear in some desperate hope that maybe just maybe they get to see her take her pants off. It's bullshit. Nice guys don't finish last. Sniveling weasels who are dishonest and just say whatever they think the woman wants to say, they finish last. And so when you say girls like bad guys, girls like jerks, there's a reason, there's a psychological reason as to why that is. If you hang out with somebody who's a fucking asshole, and I'm not suggesting you guys be assholes, okay? I'm just saying generally speaking, this is why it is sort of like this. If you hang out with somebody who's an asshole and you're around them when they say like, this person is fucking ugly, this guy's stupid, and then they tell you, but I think you're really cool. That hits different. Now you're with somebody who you recognize is honest, even if that honesty is not nice. So when that honest guy, the asshole, says something nice about the woman, she knows he fucking means it. So the answer here obviously is not be an asshole. Instead, the answer is be honest and be genuine. Be a genuine person. Don't just say what you think she wants to, to, to hear. Women are especially really good at seeing through that, that phony behavior. Be the best version of yourself and then be honest and be genuine. And then I would go a step further and say that you should be willing to be around people even if you don't necessarily find them attractive immediately. So maybe there is a girl who seems interested in you and you know, she's kind of cool. You're not too sure, but she's not really your type. Maybe she's not too attractive in your opinion. I don't think there's anything wrong with just going on a date with somebody, even if you're not that attracted to them initially. Because as corny and cliche as it sounds, it is possible that you might like their personality. There might be other qualities about them incredibly attractive to you. And with that, you might even start to see that person as being more attractive. Now, of course, if there's somebody who you're not attracted to at all, you don't like them, you don't want to be around them, then yeah, don't like don't lead anybody on, okay? But there's nothing wrong with going on a date with somebody who you might not initially find that attractive because there's more to people in general than their appearance. So be the best version of yourself. Stop obsessing over women. Get a hobby. Make guy friends. Be willing to be vulnerable when it's the appropriate time and place with your guy friends so that you can actually have deep, meaningful relationships and friendships. And then go on dates. From there, hopefully you have gotten some more confidence. You've gotten rid of some of your bad qualities. Maybe you saw a therapist and you're working through uh, some of these pent up emotions. You're, you're uh, engaging in healthier coping mechanisms. Now you're ready to start going on dates. So get rid of these bad ideas that you may have heard about women as a whole. Women are not a monolith. Anytime you hear people like the red pill community say, I met a couple women, you know, and they were really shallow. Women are shallow. Get rid of that mentality and also be willing to recognize that that type of reasoning could literally justify all kinds of bullshit. So uh, I've seen five different stories about Florida men fucking crocodiles. All men fuck crocodiles. This would be laughable. But yet for some reason, when the same type of reasoning is applied to women, people just like go with it. They're just like, yep, that's how it is. You know, women, am I right? <laughs> so get rid of those bad ideas that you have of women. Go on the date with an open mind and be genuine and be honest and be confident. You don't need to be the nice guy. 
You also don't need to be the massive asshole that's just being a piece of shit to everybody. You just need to be honest, genuine, and confident. And then last but not least, be willing to go out with people who you might not initially find that attractive because there might be other qualities that you do find attractive and you might even start to see that person as being more physically attractive also. So I know some of that might feel pretty cliche. I'm sure there are some guys who are watching this and feel like they've already heard this 10 million times. This is just my advice personally. This is what I would do uh, if I aimed to make friends. Now, I'm married. I have two kids. I'm not really looking to go out on dates or anything. I'm not sneako. Okay? I'm not trying to get cocked. However, I, um, being a man. I would follow this same formula here if I were interested in forming uh, meaningful friendships with other guys. But that's just some general and basic advice as to how to break out of this feeling of loneliness. And I think that this hopefully gives some help just knowing that there is a possible way forward. Being lonely or having no friends or having not having a girlfriend or not really knowing any girls, that is not cause for giving up. Instead, you need to follow some steps, do what's necessary, put yourself in a position where you're more likely to make friends and meet girls. So that's just my general advice. So uh, yeah, and last but not least, just stop being lonely, okay? If you're, if you're feeling lonely right now, then just like stop, okay? F suck it up. Draw a smiley face on your basketball and talk to it, okay?